What's going on, guys? I'm back at it with another video for you guys. This is about ReefCoin. I don't know if everybody saw that we partnered up with them, making moves. I wanted to just show you guys my knowledge on how to bond and nominate with ReefCoin. To me, it looks pretty promising. They're pretty inexpensive. I think they're one cents, one and a half cents right now, which is not bad. But what I wanted to show you guys first is how to buy it through an exchange um not on the swap because on the swap it's a little bit it's not expensive it's just you need a lot of volume of clever i think it's six thousand or something like that to be able to swap so this will give you guys who don't have that much of you know other coins or klv how to switch it over or how to buy it from an exchange and what to do so first off obviously you go grab you go over to, I use Hopit. That's what I use for trading a lot of the time. They have a lot of the coins that I send to Clever, even Clever themselves. So you just go on to Hopit. You're going to go to the market. You're going to type in for Reef. You're going to go to buy. You're going to buy whatever you have. Um, obviously, whatever coin you send over, trade it for USDT first. Then buy your reef. Then we're going to go into the withdrawal and make sure you send it over BEP20 BSC. And make sure on the Clever Wallet you click the right one. You need to send it to BEP20. ERC is going to cost you too much. BEP isn't going to cost you nearly as much to send over. So make sure you use BEP20. All right, that's, that's kind of not important, but if you want to save yourself some money, it is important. So after you do that, you're going to see it come in your wallet here. See all my swaps? I received, I swapped, I received, I swapped. So once you get Reef here, I don't think it's that much from BEP 20 Reef to swap to regular to the Reef chain. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to do Reef BEP 20 up there and then Reef on the bottom. You'll know it's the Reef coin because it has no white around it it's just the purple r that's the one you want to convert your bep 20 reef to and then once you do that we're going to go over you're going to get your balance it's going to be in there in your wallet you're going to go over to bonding now here i've already done it but you're just going to put your balance in there uh, and make sure when you do it you do uh increase stake you want to increase your state because that will let you increase your bond over time like we do with clever how we just add to it it's going to be kind of the same thing and here you're going to see inactive nominators i'm going to go over to the nominator section and show you guys how to do that in one minute here that's just where you put your balance in you'd hit next and you do the same thing like you're doing with clever staking or dvk or kfi same thing it's just going to bring you through the motions it's going to submit the transaction then once all that is submitted Once we show you here, once I show you how to do this real quick, this is all pre-recorded. I just like to get it on there and then record over it. Sometimes I'm a little bit lagging. And then you'll see a little bit of a network fee there. Um, not much, but as you, um, once we get to nominate, I'm going to show you more how that works as well. Because it's the more validators you do, the more, the higher the fee is going to be. So that's right there. We submit the transaction. And then it would just show you the green screen saying submitted, approved. Then we go over to nominate after we bonded our coins. Bonding is just like freezing. So now that they're bonded, they're in the system. We can go straight over to validators, which is nominate. Now you're going to pick your validators. Really, this is where it gets a, won a little bit wonky for me. But you pick your validators. And what I've read so far is if the validator has over 256 and you're the 257th validator, that you aren't going to get rewards on that. So make sure you select at least, I'm going to try eight. I did four here. I've increased it to eight now. But make sure you have at least eight to 10, I would say, to start, to try out. And don't get concerned after you do it and you nominate them and the transaction goes through, if you go back to the bonding section, you're going to see that it says inactive. I've read that that can take three days to 
actually show any staking rewards or show active mind uh validators so just make sure that you don't get crazy when you see it say inactive just wait a couple days see what happens and then if it's still saying inactive then the validators that you picked when you were nominating um either are oversubscribed meaning they're over 256 um subscribers and you were 257 so just pick some more take off those ones pick other ones increase how many validators you have and that's pretty much what i've read just increase your validators i think we can get up to 64 validators on the clever wallet so here's what i was saying you'll see the inactive right there that's where it will show you that in your bonding section and that's pretty much it i mean once you do that then you just gotta wait the three days um hopefully that some of them show active and you should start seeing rewards come in this is what i've read so far i just kind of wanted to share it with you guys so you guys had more of an understanding than i'm sure most of us did when it first popped up and i'm pretty sure this has a lot to do with the poke i think this is on the polka dot chain if i'm not mistaken polka dots really awesome if you guys don't know about that definitely look that up i'm going to post a link down below in my description as well make sure you guys subscribe and we can all work together to learn more about everything i know a lot but when it comes to new things that i've never heard of i am always down to listen you guys are awesome clever fan for life don't forget to subscribe